hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel today i'll share with you all how to make a popular but haircut street food known as matching ground and pium pium for this you would need some goat's meat food it is called matching ground from the new downward that's what you need so i'll just put that into the pot and then go in with some water i will just cover this and allow it to boil up then i would discard the water i always love to do this because it just helped me get rid of the bad smell as you can see it the water and the foam doesn't look good so this is what you want to ensure you discard okay so i would just rinse that for about three times then i would go in with some blended fresh pepper a lot of blended onion I would also go in with some seasoning and then some salt and some Cameroon pepper and lots of crayfish. I'll just add in enough water and let this cook. One very good thing to always do when making this is to ensure that the meats are properly cooked. So if you need more water, make sure you do that by topping up the water so you get a very soft meat so at this point the meat is very soft and the water has gone down so i'll just go in with the pium pium which is <laughs> the perewinko that comes with the shell <laughs> so i'll just add that together i'll just give it a very good mix and then let it cook This is about 10 to 15 minutes later and you can barely see the water in the pot because it has gone back into the meat and that is what you need okay you want it to be very very juicy same thing applies to the, the perinko so once you've gotten this result you just give that a very good mix you can see that this meat is well cooked because the bones are falling off so just set that aside then into a plate, I would go in with some potash and water. This is going to help us thicken the palm oil and as well just make it look so beautiful in color. So just mix that and then into a pot that is not on the fire, I would go in with some palm oil and then that potash mixture. So because I am very good at mixing this, I would just usually add in the potash straight from the plate. But in case you're a first timer, you can just sieve that off so that you don't add in sand, okay? <laughs> so you just mix that until it cuddles just like this and it changes in color. Then I'll go in with some seasoning, some salt, and then more pepper and crayfish. Please, while adding seasoning to this, you want to make sure you're not adding too much because you already have the meats properly cooked and it should be very tasty if you follow the principles, okay? So, please make sure you're not over seasoning this. So, once I'm done with that, I'll just give it a good mix. Then, I'll go in with one of my special spice that I always love for this mashing ground and pure pure, which is grounded ehu calabash nutmeg and a lot of onion again i love to blend my onion for this recipe because i just love the texture it brings to this whole dish it looks so so beautiful <laughs> as you can see it has this very rough look and that is what i always love to go for whenever i'm making this so i'll just give that a very good mix then go in with the meats and Winkle. while we are here in case this is your first time stopping by hi my name is fidel of fidel food villa please if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like drop your comments and please subscribe if you're yet to 
and tap the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. So I added in a little bit small pepper for heat and then I just give this a very good mix. In case you're not too sure of the amount of oil you should use, you can just divide the oil in half, then use half to mix it. Then just in case you need more, you can add. But I always love to make mine a bit runny, just the way you see it on the screen. Because I feel like it is one very interesting, interesting part about this whole recipe, okay? <laughs> So once I'm done mixing that, I'll transfer to my stove top and on low heat, I would let this cook for about 3 minutes just so that everything will just mix in very very well and the flavors and everything will just combine perfectly. And that's it guys. This is very very simple if you follow the whole rules I have given you for this recipe. And what is matching ground and pion pion without utazi leaves and onion? Like, I feel like that is the icing on the cake, okay? So please make sure you always add some utazi and onion rings to this. And serve it to your loved ones. I can't wait to see your beautiful comments when you try out this recipe. Don't forget to like this video, like I said earlier. I'll see you all in my next one. I hope you give this a try. Bye, guys.